I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Visitor in Blackwood Grove, a game of deduction and mystery for three to six players. In Visitor in Blackwood Grove, players take on the roles of an extraterrestrial visitor, a curious kid, and competing government agents. The goal of the game is to win, and you win by being the first to figure out what kinds of objects pass through the visitor's force field. To start, players are given rolls and hands of object cards. The visitor will create a secret pass rule, for example, things that are red, determining which object cards can pass through the force field and which object cards are repelled. The kid must work with the visitor to figure out the pass rule. As the kid takes actions, they may gain trust, unlocking special abilities like revealing face-down cards played by agents and letting the kid draw cards. Players will pass cards to the visitor, who will either place the object card within the force field or next to it, based on their pass rule. On an agent's turn, they may either test an object or attempt to prove the pass rule. To test an object, give one face-down card from your hand to the visitor. The visitor must now classify your card. When the visitor classifies a card, it can go to one of four places, depending on the pass rule and if the card was presented to them face up or face down. Face down cards which successfully meet the pass rule will go onto the edge of the force field, while cards which are repelled go face down on your player mat. Face up cards which are admitted go onto the force field, while repelled cards are placed near it. Instead of testing an object, you may also prove the pass rule. To do this, draw the top four cards from the object deck and place them in a row. The visitor will use their tokens behind their shield to mark which objects pass and which are repelled. Next, the agent must push the objects they think will pass towards the force field and objects they think will be repelled away from it. Finally, the visitor lifts their shield. If their token's positions match your cards, the game ends and you win the game. But beware, if you guessed incorrectly, the visitor classifies the cards and the kid gains two trust. At the end of their turn, an agent draws back up to seven cards. It's now the next agent's turn. Once all the agents have had a turn, it's now the kid's turn. On the kid's turn, they may either predict object cards or attempt to prove the pass rule. To predict objects, reveal one card to the group and predict whether you think the object will pass or be repelled. The visitor must now classify your card. If you were correct, you may predict up to two more cards or end your turn. For each card you correctly predicted, gain one trust and any abilities on the trust track. But beware, if you predict incorrectly, your turn is over and you don't gain any trust. Like agents, the kid may prove the pass rule, so long as the kid has two or more trust. After the kid's turn, it's now the visitor's turn. The visitor's action is determined by the trust meter. If trust is zero to two, they must reveal and classify a card from their hand face up. If trust is three or more, they will instead reveal a card secretly to the kid and classify that card face down. And that's the game. If the kid proves the pass rule, the visitor and the kid win. If an agent figures out the pass rule first, that agent wins alone. If the visitor runs out of cards, all agents win together. Ready to play? Set the force field and trust board in the middle of the table, placing the trust marker onto this location. Deal a roll card and matching markers to each player, including the shield and guest token to the visitor. Deal seven cards to each player and reveal two object cards from the deck. The visitor must now create a pass rule based on their cards and classifies the two revealed object cards. The agent to the left of the visitor goes first, if you liked Visitor in Blackwood Grove, you might also like Monarch, another exciting strategy game from Resonim. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it or subscribing to the Dice Tower for rules explanations, reviews, and more.